Loving God, your generosity is beyond our imagining and all we have is given by you. Hear the prayers we bring for your people. We give you thanks and praise, O God, for the profligate generosity of your creation, for its beauty to delight us and its bounty to sustain us. We pray for the peace and prosperity of the world, for those who have no daily bread, no shelter or medical care, for those whose livelihood is destroyed or labour exploited. Free us from our greed and indifference that we may learn to share the resources of the earth and live in harmony with your created world. Ever generous God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give you thanks and praise, O God, for your abundant mercy towards your people, for your bountiful gifts of redemption and grace. We pray for the ministry and mission of your church, for leaders of churches and all who minister in your name, for those who are newly baptised or confirmed. Free us from all arrogance and apathy, that we may work humbly and gladly in your service and share with all people your gospel of love. Ever generous God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give you thanks and praise, O God, for your unconditional love for your people, for your acceptance of all without distinction. We pray for this community, for our families, our friends, for those whose work, daily work enriches us, for those who cannot find work, and those whose work is not valued. Free us from our selfishness and envy that we may establish a true community of care where no one is neglected, unwanted or unloved. Ever generous God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give you thanks and praise, O God, for your unfailing compassion for your people, for your sustaining care in times of need. We pray for all who are in distress, for those who are lonely or anxious, for the sad and the grieving, for the sick and the dying, and for all who care for them. Free them from their anxiety, pain and fear, that they may find comfort in their sorrow, hope in their despair, and in their terror know your presence. Ever generous God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give you thanks and praise, O God, for you lead your people from the bonds of death to the freedom of everlasting life. We remember all who have died in your friendship and love, the faithful and the unfaithful. We give you thanks for those from this parish who have served you and for all whom we have loved. Free us from all that binds us in death, that following the example of your saints we may rise with them to eternal life. Ever generous God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. All glory and honour be yours always and everywhere, mighty Creator, ever-living God. We give you thanks and praise for our Saviour, Jesus Christ, who, by the power of your Spirit, was born of Mary and lived as one of us. By his death on the cross, and rising to new life. He offered the one true sacrifice for sin and obtained an eternal deliverance for his people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Merciful God, we thank you for these gifts of your creation, this bread and wine, 
And we pray that by your word and Holy Spirit, we who eat and drink them may be partakers of Christ's body and blood. Who, on the night he was betrayed, Jesus took bread. And when he had given you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup, and again giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Therefore we do as our Saviour has commanded, proclaiming his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming again. We celebrate with this bread and this cup his one perfect and sufficient sacrifice for the sins of the whole world. Renew us by your Holy Spirit. Unite us in the body of your Son and bring us with all your people into the joy of your eternal kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord, with whom and in whom, in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, we worship you, Father, in songs of never-ending praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power are yours for ever and ever. Amen. As this broken bread was once many grains which have been gathered together and made one bread, so may your church be gathered from the ends of the earth into your kingdom. of God for the people of God. Living God, in this holy meal you fill us with new hope. May the power of your love, which we have known in word and sacrament, continue your saving work among us. Give us courage for our pilgrimage and bring us to the joys you promise. Amen. Most loving God, you send us into the world you love. Give us grace to go thankfully and with courage in the power of your Spirit. The peace of God, which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.